Oh, hi there, ladies and gentlemen. He's just chowing down on the lettuce. I left the hotel. I had to check out. That's where I've been editing and uploading from right now until I run further. But I've still got that big bowl of rice. I want to share this with you so you can see what I'm eating and how much. I mean, how much is in the volume. It wouldn't even fit on plates. I guess that would be like four or five plates of rice. I cooked it up last night. Uh, I did a big batch. I didn't eat it all. I never eat it from a plate. I just eat it out of the bowl because there's so much rice. There's so many lentils and I'm gonna make some little uh, lettuce boats. That's what I'm thinking. It will be fun. Good way to get the greens down me. Fruits, roots, rice and oats. With those four things, you can make many combinations. I can make this with a low salt, lentil, tomato-y sauce. I could make it a burrito. I could make it a black bean, avocado, something. I could make it, a, well, my point is I could make many different versions of the rice. I could do the same with the oats. I could make a bowl of oats. I could make banana pancakes and cook them on a stove. I could put them in the oven and make cookies. You could do oats in many different ways. You could do fruits in many different ways because of all the millions of different combinations of smoothies. And fruits, roots, oh yeah, the roots. I was like, which one have we missed? Fruits, roots, rice and oats. The roots, the potatoes, you can do those in a million different ways. White potatoes, sweet potatoes, boil them, bake them, carving up before we hit the road. It is literally the road now uh, until I return to some trails in the woods. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering how long it takes them to clean my room and be like, hey, where's the big dish? And then they'll look over here and I'll be like, oops, hi. For those of you who are wondering, yes, I did finish the entire thing of rice. No bombing, no running, and no eating lettuces. Yo, so in some of the last episodes you could see I was getting scorched on my shoulders and I was like, ah, yeah, look, it peeled bad. Blazing sun, I put this thing on my back. I mean, it's, it's not really covering much, but I wet it and I put it on my shoulders, but it's, it's not gonna get me through the day. I got burned, I got scorched, and I knew it, I could feel it. It felt like tender and sensitive and like I was being torched but I just couldn't get away from the uh, sun and I felt like a hero. Look how much I'm doing, look how far I'm going, look at me. And then I was like, oh, I better stop because I'm turning into a lobster. So what I'm thinking is, Mary Poppins mode, activated. <laughs> Have a little umbrella. And I can run with that and that will really up my street cred. I quite like, this silver one. It's small, it's compact, it'll slip into the belt somewhere, and when you pop it out in Mary Poppins mode, it's silver and shiny and will reflect the sun and look cool. Well, uh, because of this heart attack he had in 2021, he uh, changed up the dietary. Yeah. He stopped eating meat, stopped eating processed food, killed auntie. Mm -hmm. Oi, kid, come here, come here. Put that money in your pocket, never flash it. I don't have it. Put it in your pocket over there. Give it here. Don't play with Jimmy Cook around here. Good tips. Yeah. Um, you're drying your clothes out here? Oh, no, no, I, I sell my t-shirts here. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> so I, just, like, uh, I thought you were drying your clothes. I'm like, what's no, no, he doing no. here? Nah, no, I bust here, my guy. Right, I thought you were drying them out. Like, no. you just done your laundry, you're gonna hang out with me and dry your clothes. Hey, what's up, man? My name's Tia. I just heard about this guy coming through. One of my cousins told me he just uh, ran all the way from Cape Ranga. Yeah. Bro, legendary guy. Three and days. The thing is, being a vegan, one of the next steps I like to take in my life and elevate to is probably be like him as fruitarian. Yeah. Because one of the reasons I went vegan was because my sister had a stroke at 37 and I only found out recently she had a second one. Yeah. My brother had a heart attack a, couple, uh, a few years ago. Hey Tash. My mom had a heart attack and she had a triple bypass. She was lucky to stay alive and I've been a vegan since I came back from New York City. Right. Vegan is good, but yeah. fruitarian is the next development stage for me. 
Yeah, because I was just going to say all the things you listed, all those health conditions, really from eating fat. Animal yeah. fat will clog the arteries yeah, yeah, and the yeah. veins, but you can still be vegan, cooked, and eat a whole load of fat. Yeah. If you go fruitarian, that's going to cut the fat out. May I ask you, like, what inspired your journey? When I first went fruitarian, I didn't get sick ever again. Like 2007 was the last time I was sick. Like a cold or a flu or a headache or a snotty nose or anything. Yeah. So I was like, wow, this is amazing. So I want to share it with everybody. So I go around telling everybody like an evangelist, right. a veganist. Yeah. But no one wants to listen because they're like, well, don't tell me to eat more bananas. Or, you know, even my mom said, maybe you should just water down the message a little bit and tell them to eat a little less meat. You can't go around telling them to eat only fruits and vegetables. And I said, yeah, but that's the message, mom. You can't change the message, only just have a little less meat. That's not the answer. Certain people are just like afraid of honesty. Yeah. And so like... So I'm, I'm like quite brutal with my honesty. Yeah. And I'm like, no, it's, it's hey my God. you know, high you carb, low fat, mostly fruit is the answer. Yeah. Um, but no one wants to listen because they're like, well, who are you? Just some stoner guy who doesn't do anything with their life. So I was like, well, fine. I'll go run around the world then. <laughs> so and that's where it got inspired. Now people are listening like, wait, what? You ran here from where, huh? Hey? And now they're like, well, how did you do that? What inspires you, etc." And then we get onto this conversation, which is, hey, you could do it too. Yeah. Or whatever your dream is, your equivalent. Well, everybody, I'm a freestyler. I just heard about this guy walking into the warehouse. And by like, your, your traveling, your journey is a very inspiring. And I'm the only one out of my whole family that doesn't eat meat and right. products whatsoever. I stopped eating processed food. I'm on a wholesome food, a whole milk uh, dietary at the moment. So after this, I'm probably going to give me some grapes and some watermelon to eat. Yeah. Mm. Do they still try to offer you your family? Are still like, do you want some bacon? Have a sausage? What about it? Nah. They stopped. Do you know why? It's because they cannot underestimate a disciplined person. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so. When you change up your dietary and you just let go of the products in your system, yeah, it's like your uh, your arteries are not clogged. Yeah, like you your palate changes, the way you yeah. taste too changes, doesn't it? Yeah. And not only that, but your whole gratitude, your whole attitude in life changes. Your perspective, your objective, your opinion, your morals, your values, and principles. And so, well said. <laughs> I've been off uh, me for about six years this year. Right. Woo! The people in the comments will like that. Yeah, yeah. Remind me of your name again. Tihei. Tihei. And I'll do you a freestyle before you leave us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To all the people that doubt themselves in the world, get rid of the can't do it. Get rid of the don't know. Get rid of the hard. Get rid of the term, oh, it's too hard. Maybe another day. Tomorrow's never promised. <laughs> One day. <another>. Yeah. <laughs> One day, I'll do yes, One yes. day. Yes, yes, yeah. Hello, man. <laughs> Well, it takes one man just to travel all around the world to inspire so many boys and girls. Well, he traveled for London, and yes, he's the best. It took him over 500 days to leave the whole U.S. But well, now he's in New Zealand, y'all, because he can't escape. And the first place he started was the Cape. Hey, that's the end of the line on the north side. The North Island, not here, man, we do it for life. But now he's off to the South Island with the relevant. Before he hits the South, he needs to hit the Wellington. That's the capital here in New Zealand. You learn about the city. Nothing really is so appealing. This brother over here, yes, no comparing it. I told him I'm vegan, he told me he's fruitarian. He's been <laughs> one since 2007. His name is Dev when it is a blessing. Just to meet a man, just running around the world to entertain more than people want diamonds and pearls. Cause if you wanna get absurd, just to deal a brother's never been heard. Well, action always speaks louder than words. This brother here, he leads by example. Cause when you feel about it, some people choose not to handle the truth and nothing but the info. This brother Dev, he just told me plain and simple. He's doing it for the cause when you feel his life. Cause when you talk about it, y'all, every day and night, it's gonna take him a couple of months to get down. But when he goes on the road, he ain't gonna muck around or sit down. No way and no how. Cause when you're on the move, you learn the lifestyle. You gotta be equivalent to everyone that listens. Especially when you feel that people make their own decisions. That's like my friend Mark Prevalent over here. August the 7th, y'all, 82 is so clear. It's beautiful and rare when you cheer for the 
the Honda Especially when you gotta run through summer and to thunder Even the rain when nobody will complain But this brother said to me, he'll never change He started it one day out of nowhere in his life That's why I say, man, the brother made a sacrifice And made a direction, it's like you never jump This brother to me is the real life Forrest Gump Cause what he did, y'all, even when you feel about it Cause this brother told me a story, he feel about it To take over 500 days the USA That's why it's inspirational Like California, A to New York to Philadelphia Cause when you listen to me, you know I'm happy ya. I'm never down in ya in the ways of the position That's why I sat down to hear this brother and listen to his story It's like a testimony, it's like mine, y'all For the people that already know me I step out here and you know my reason I used to be a meat eater, now I'm a vegan I pull up the V, but I'd rather be the F one day And that's a fruitarian in one way After this, y'all, how can I make a take? Cause after I leave, I'm gonna get me some grape I'm gonna get some watermelons Cause I'm hungry as hell But if you've been in my direction, you know it well One, two Wow That is incredible That is really incredible Thank you so much First thing that I thought when I heard you, I'm like, wow, he's actually good. And then secondly, it's like positive and obviously genuine because you couldn't have scripted and written that. How do we spell T A in the because they're gonna want to write it? How do we spell it? There you go. Like T-I-H-E-I. Okay. It's in the Modi pronunciation yeah, right, 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 right. T T I and how they say hey yeah. all day and our culture is H E I. Hey mate. And so that's what it is. Got it. Awesome, love it. T.A. Uh, Modi order means the breath of life. But this brother said to me, he'll never change. He started it one day out of nowhere in his life. That's why I say, man, the brother made a sacrifice and made a direction. It's like you never jump. This brother to me is the real life Forrest Gump. Cause what he did, y'all, even when you feel about it. Cause this brother told me a story, he feel about it. But I like the positive freestyle. That's clever to use it for uh, uplifting and motivating. It's Good use of From one words. to ten, how did you feel about that freestyle? For me, ten. What do they say? Thanks, man. I'm, I'm eleven. More like eleven. I'm surprised. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 you know, to be honest, I'm thinking, okay, here we go. Let's see how it goes. Thanks, my man. You know, maybe it makes it to the video. Yeah. And instead, now I'm like, wow, that's the theme tune. <laughs> yeah, I changed my tune very quickly oh, on that you. one. Appreciate it. Amazing. Thanks, All right, guy. let's sign off. Hey Love man, ya. what's up? You're amazing. Thanks y'all, appreciate it. Come check out this brother here. Really inspirational, like what he's doing for not only anybody in this area, but for a lot of human beings. Make the change, believe in yourself, do good. Yep, the human animals and the animal animals. Absolutely. <laughs> you to find it. Welcome to New Zealand, Sip. Yo. Hello, man. <laughs> Well, it takes one man just to travel all around the world to inspire so many boys and girls.